And Moscow Station. Uh, Moscow Station. MSU bed. We still show MSU. MSU bed. Indication bed. Copy MSU. The MSU being referred to there is the monitoring and safing unit on uh, the automated transfer vehicle, but that uh, does not appear to be a constraint to undocking. And uh, if we're switching to step nine, we're performing there is physical separation. procedure. And physical separation now confirmed at 7.42 a.m. Central Time. The automated transfer vehicle leaving the International Space Station for the final time with the two vehicles flying 257 statute miles over Mongolia. F8 underscore three. Copy. Command F8 underscore three is sent. Ведем признак расстуковки. The uh, undocking flag is set. Switching to wide angle. Copy wide angle. And the command has been executed. We're at wide angle. Visually, we see ATV separating and velocity increasing. Copy. Moscow, we still have MSU bad. And Moscow, well, we still show MSU indication bad. Copy, MSU bad. And Moscow, we observe uh, the end sub flu. Sox flew and thrust in step 11, page 6.7. Samantha Christopheretti in the Zvezda service module continuing uh, to provide updates uh, for the flight control team uh, in Copy. Moscow as they are, are monitoring the data as well as uh, the ATV flight control team in Toulouse, but a clean undocking uh, of the Georges Lamatre. Now, uh, on its way uh, to a safe distance away from the International Space Station. Again, undocking occurring at 7.42 a.m. Central Time as uh, the International Space Station and the ATV pass 257 statute miles over Mongolia. This view uh, of the uh, Georges Lamatra automated transfer vehicle, uh, which of course uh, in darkness at the moment as uh, the International Space Station and the ATV uh, move from northwest to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator currently flying over North Korea. So the era of European space freighters uh, supplying the International Space Station uh, comes to an end with the undocking of the Georges Lamatra, the first automated transfer vehicle launched on March 9th, 2008. That was the Jules Verne that spent uh, 155 days docked to the International Space Station, followed uh, three years later by the launch of the Johannes Kepler, the ATV-2, which spent 116 days at the ISS. The third in the series of automated transfer vehicles was the Eduardo Amaldi, launched in March of 2012. It spent 184 days at the orbital outpost. The fourth in the series of automated transfer vehicles was the Albert Einstein, 
launched in June of 2013 to spend 135 days at the International Space Station. And finally, the Georges Lemaitre uh, undocking uh, a few minutes ago from the aft end of the Zvezda service module, launched in July of 2014, spent 186 days at the International Space Station. In all, the five ATVs spent 776 days of docked operations at the orbital outpost to deliver more than 34 and a half tons of fuel and supplies. The uh, automated transfer vehicle initially will move uh, behind and below the International Space Station, and then uh, the orbital mechanics of it all will phase the ATV out in front of the station with a separation rate of about 42 miles per orbit over the next 24 hours. There will be two deorbit burns uh, for the ATV on Sunday, the first occurring at a point at which uh, Georges Lemaitre will be 657 miles away from the station. That first uh, deorbit burn to lower its altitude uh, will occur at 8.29 a.m. Central Time on Sunday, followed uh, three hours later or two orbits later at a point at which uh, the ATV will be 786 miles away from the station at a much lower altitude for the final deorbit burn that will occur at 11.26 a.m. Central Time. The automated transfer vehicle will begin to enter the Earth's atmosphere and its breakup at 12.12 uh, 12 p.m. Central Time. Uh, it will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere harmlessly over the Pacific Ocean.